Mule ESB is a lightweight Java-based enterprise service bus. It's an integration platform that helps developers connect applications together quickly and easily without requiring custom code. Over the next few minutes, I'll talk about what Mule ESB is, walk through two simple example applications, and explain how to get started with Mule. Developers often need to integrate multiple applications and data sources, including back-end enterprise systems, front-end technologies and web applications, as well as SaaS and cloud-based applications. The key advantage of an ESB is that you can integrate multiple applications and services without writing custom point-to-point -point code, which can be tedious, error-prone, and expensive to maintain over time. The ESB provides infrastructure to enable integration in a more loosely coupled way, providing the basis for service-oriented architecture. Mule ESB allows you to easily create new services or host existing ones. For example, using an existing POJO without having to make any changes to the code. Mule service mediation capabilities provide a level of service virtualization and location transparency so that if a machine goes down or a service provider is moved, individual service clients don't need to know about the change. Service mediation also shields services from message formats and protocols, allowing communication between services using different transports. Mule can dynamically route, filter, and aggregate messages following a set of rules or business logic based on the message payload or properties. For example, you can prioritize orders from high-value customers or flag large orders for special treatment. Data transformation allows you to exchange data from different applications using different data formats. Finally, Mule includes orchestration capabilities that allows you to construct lightweight service orchestration flows across the enterprise and cloud. Let's take a look at an example. Say I want to develop an application which takes a message from an enterprise system and delivers it to a cloud service. In this case, we'll create a flow in which a message in a JMS queue will be used to create a post to Twitter. Here we are looking at a Mule configuration in Mule IDE, an Eclipse plugin that allows you to create and run Mule configurations inside Eclipse. First, we create a connector for the JMS queue. We set the URL, version, username, and password. In the real world, we would keep this information in a separate file, but for this example, we've provided them here. Next, we create a configuration for the Twitter cloud connector. We provide a name, specify JSON as the data format, and provide the keys required for OAuth authorization. Finally, we define the steps we want executed in our flow. First, Mule will listen for messages on the inbound JMS endpoint. Then, it will update Twitter with the contents of the message received from that queue. With just a few lines of XML, I'm ready to run the example. Let's jump over to the JMS queue. Here we're using MuleMQ as my JMS server, but Mule can work with any JMS provider including ActiveMQ, WebSphereMQ, or TIBCO. I'll create a message with the payload, Mule flows are powerful. When that message gets sent, Mule will pick up the message and deliver it to Twitter. And here we see the actual message that's been posted to Twitter. We saw how simple it is to connect two systems together, in this case, a JMS queue and the cloud-based Twitter service. Of course, Mule supports integrating with many other enterprise systems and cloud services as well. So let's take things one step further in this example. What happens if I want to do something to the message before passing it along to Twitter? Say, add some data to the message. It's simple. Let's take a look at how we can do this with Mule. Let's go back to our example. I'll show you how to add an extra step to the flow. I'm going to use something called a transformer to add additional text to the message before sending it to Twitter. I'll append try Mule today to the end of every Twitter post I send from this application. I define my transformer in the flow and once again run the application.
I'll create the same JMS message we used before. Mule flows are powerful. This time, the flow includes the transformer step. So when I switch over to Twitter, now I see that the status reads, Mule flows are powerful. Try Mule today. We just saw that you can use Mule to transform a message as part of a flow. But there's all sorts of things you can do to the message using Mule, including enrich the message with information from other connectors, filter the message based on its content, or validate the message. You could also choose to route the message to various destinations based on its contents. With its lightweight footprint and simple configuration, Mule makes it easy to get started. Mule's flexibility lets you build your application without any design constraints, including message format or architecture topology. It can be deployed either standalone or embedded in any app server. Mule integrates smoothly with your existing development tools and processes, so you don't have to change the way you work. With over 2,500 production deployments, including 85 of the Fortune 500, Mule is trusted by the world's leading organizations for its stability, performance, and scalability. Finally, Mule's open source and open standards approach let you avoid the frustration of black box products, giving you visibility, flexibility, and control. Now that you've seen how simple it is to get started with Mule, don't just take our word for it. Get started by downloading Mule today.